So today, first, we're going to do a windmill craft. Yes, we're going to do uh, the Kiviko Atlas Great Netherlands. Mm-hmm. Right? So let's just right on with the do with the video. Yeah. Let's get right into, into it. it. We also have our new one, Balloony, in our video, too. Balloony is in the video. Okay, so we have today the spinning windmill, windmill. and our... And the Starry Night artwork. This week, Nani. Okay, Babuda. Let's start with the windmill, right? We want to start with the windmill, the artwork. This. You want to start with this? Mm -hmm. All right. Let's get everything that we need for it. Okay, so we got everything that we need for this: the foam mat, the frame, tree moon, team foam swim stand, yarn tape, and it looks like we gotta recreate Vincent Van Gogh's beautiful painting and very famous painting. He's the man behind the Starry Night and about 2,100 other artworks. To the Dutch painter, wasn't very successful during his lifetime. Today, his work is beloved around the world. Famous for its bright colors and thick brush strokes, there's even a Van Gogh Museum in Amsterdam. Gets over 2 million visitors each year, wow. Okay, let's see, so we turn around and we're gonna start with the sky. I'm done. Lay the foam mat, okay. right side up. Make sure the mat is right way up. Yes, this is the right way up. Okay, peel the white backing of the top part. Yes. The top part, yes. That's where the sky will go. Awesome. And next, you will add color. You will be sticking down yarn pieces to fill the sky. You can put the yarn in patterns like this or any other way you like. So we can make swirls, waves, zigzags, or straight lines. Start by making stars with yellow and white yarn. It's a good start. And then we put one up here, like sure. on the picture. Let's do a white star because stars are normally white. Like right here. And then let's do one here. And then I think the moon is gonna come here. We're gonna stick the moon on top of it. So these are our stars. And then after this star, we're gonna fill around the stars with blue yarn. Keep adding yarn until the entire sticky surface is covered. Cluster the light blue yarn close to your stars to show how stars brighten the surrounding sky. And that's um, kind of that. Let's do start with light blue and then we move on to the dark. So they say to put the light blue next to the stars. And then the darker blue uh, a little bit further around. So this is how a sky looks like at the moment. You can spend lots of time uh, laying these yarns out and make them perfect for you or you can spend like a little time on it like us. We didn't spend too much time on it because it's just not something that we want to spend too much time on it and then just kind of like dump the yarn all over the place <laughs> but uh, yeah you can make it super super and cool need, with like different uh, different patterns that they show up here to make them beautiful and i said we just kind of dumped it all over the place okay next step okay. is gonna be okay when you're done with your we just sky peel the bottom white backing of the mat. That's gonna be our land. Our land and line up black yarn along the bottom of your completed sky. So right here. Oh, and, and, and then cover the sticky surfaces with any mix of greens, clay, black, and maybe even a little blue, okay. And, and then, then after that, we're going to add the frame. Okay. This is, our, this is our land. So again, you can spend so much time on it depending on how artistic your kid is and how 
um, how much time they want to spend lining up the yarn straight or they can just dump it off just like we did. So next step is oh, and I'll keep to it remove in. the tape from the corners and then stick the frame. So we can put on the frame. And then we can put on the frame. Awesome. Next step is going to be that we're going to add the tree and the moon. Yeah, let me add the moon. So the moon comes right over here somewhere. Right here. Sure. And then the tree just over here. Okay, so now we're gonna we're gonna start on our spinning windmill. So just let's get everything that we need for it. That everything that like it so it looks so cool. It says whoosh swoosh swish. Windmills are a big part of Dutch culture and it's no wonder why for centuries they have produced the wind energy needed to grind grain, pump water, mix paint, saw wood and even make delicious cocoa powder. Windmills are so beloved they are decked out in flags and flowers every year for National Meal Day. On this special day people can tour the mills, learn how they work and even turn the sails if they are lucky. Here we have oh, we're gonna start with the sails. Okay, I think we're gonna start with the sails. So this is what we need for the sails. So let's get everything. Mm -hmm. Okay, so lay the sail wheel right side down. Send the stick in the middle of the hole. Okay, first we have to poke out the hole. Yeah, I think. Like that. Oh, perfect. Awesome. So this works. Awesome. Uh, peel the backing of the tin foam circle. And thread the circle sticky side down onto the sticks. Slide the circle all the way down so it attaches to the wheel. Do it stick? Yeah. Awesome. It says to take out the stick. stick and then turn it around and peel that off. Okay, and now put back the white stick. stick and then put a bead over the top. Slide it all the way to the bottom. Great. Now we're going to slide a guide into each slot on the wheel. Let, okay, let's stick them in there. Mm-hmm. One. Slide the sail down the stick. Okay, so let's slide one in. And then slot the dark gray strip next to one of the guides. Press the light gray part of the sail down around the bead so yeah. it sticks to the wheel. And then we're gonna repeat the steps for all of them. Okay. Perfect. So we have all four of them in. And then after the four is done, we take down out the the guys which we already done, and go on to the next step. Making the next step is making the building. So I think we already have everything for that. So we have the building, the base, the rubber band, the cap, and the bread. Yeah, we got everything perfect. We don't need all this. Okay, so it says lay the building to lip side down and fold, fold in along the yellow lines. Fold that and fold along the yellow lines. So all the yellow lines we have to fold. One yellow line, two yellow lines, three yellow lines, four yellow. Put this last one in. Okay, and then you also have to put this one in here. Yeah. 
this one and this okay after that's done poke the tabs on the base onto the bottom row slot uh, this tab that's the base Yasmin that's the base it's gonna come into these holes these holes mm -hmm. After that, we're going to close the building by poking the two green tabs all the way into the slot. So these ones will be poked in here. After this, we poke the bread. Get the bread down the, through the cap. This is the cap. Mm -hmm. right and then through the lid. Right and then just do this. Poke the lid step into the slot okay so the lid can close down here oh it's because we didn't fold this one in okay there you go great we're gonna attach the sails so we need the building the sails the beads oh. thin foam rectangle it's this one and then clear rings oh they are in there okay perfect so first, find find the smallest side of the cap and stick the thin foam rectangle over the hole. Smallest side. Right of here, Yasmin. Here. Yes. Then get the stick. That stick. And then from this side. Okay. And stick it through the hole. Okay. So it come through. Yeah. Okay, we're gonna put two beads on. One. Two. And then we're gonna put this one on top. Over. Right. I can see. So where's the clear ring here, Nez? Just the clear ring goes on top. Okay, two. and then one clear ring over this end the windmill then we will need the windmill a stick uh, not a stick oh. Yasmin has an issue with sticks she doesn't know what a stick is <laughs> yes we will need the anchor yes one yes and then the anchor key white foam white foam the roof oh the roof is here and then the balcony pieces Oh, perfect. Them. We have everything. Awesome. Okay, so we're gonna... Yes, how did you know? Um, we're gonna slide through the stick through the holes. Yes, she already done that. And then thread the round loops of anchor onto the ends. Oh, <laughs> from the back, so... There. Yeah, so one... The other way, like this. Like this. Mm-hmm. Mm. One goes through there. One goes through there. The other goes through there. Yes. I want to say we get clear rings. We need. We need. Don't need the clear rings yet. Supposedly. Uh, where's the key? This key. Lock. Oh, yeah, turn the key. Push the anchor key through the holes until only the handle sticks out. The hole. Here's a hole. Perfect. And turn it, yes. Like that. Great. And then we can turn okay, it. Okay, now we're gonna put a white foam on each on each of the white spaces on the cap. Do you see the white spaces on the cap? Mm -hmm. yeah. Peel off the backing and stick the anchor anchor's middle or legs onto the foam. Put the Oh wait, I can peel the back. This door is supposed to be this off. Yes, and then once you peel it off, and then we are closing the lid here. Like, now I have fingers too. I hand to bring away. There you go. Yay. And now, so we have done the key. And we put the white foams on. We did the roof. Uh, lay a balcony piece, green slide down, fold up along the white lines. We've done that. Stick a piece of white foam on that each step that pokes out of the body and peel the backings off. So we're going to have to put the stickers 
on all of those. Here or here? The white tabs. Here. On the top, Yasmin. And then the balconies are gonna go on top of that. So just we're gonna just move to that and put all the stickers on. We are just adding the balcony pieces. So we're supposed to stick them all one by one like this. And then after that, we're gonna put them together. Oh, we need this one here. And now we're just gonna put them all together and then our windmill is gonna be done. And our windmill is done. It looks so pretty. I love you can spin the handle. Spinning the sails is a breeze blow. Oh, you can blow on it from the front and then blow from the side and see which one makes it blow, uh, turn more. Mm -hmm. Set your windmill in a spot with a draft or we can put it outside when it's windy and actually get wind on it. So yeah, before phones and email, Dutch people could communicate with windmill sails. If a mill or lap to say stopped in a certain special position, it could mean there would be soon a wedding, a new baby, or maybe even a boar. Um, that is so crazy. Um, okay, so let's see what did we get in our envelope today. About the Netherlands. So as usual we have the map and then some fun information about the Netherlands. Um, as usual we have their, pla they, uh, their week planned out, so their day one, day two, day three, day four. The tulip mania, of course they have, they are so famous about tulips, it tells a lot about, lot, lot of information about tulips here. Oh, it does a lot about the dike system here. And then the windmills, of course. Koenigsteg games. And how to play them. And then also a recipe for this kind of a cookies to make. So that was it for today's video. We have our new YouTuber, Balloon. And this is what we made. We this is what we made. We made our famous painting and our windmill. My favorite was the windmill. I'm not that into yarn. Which one was your favorite? My favorite was the painting. Of course. So that was it for today's video. As always, we're going to link uh, Kuniko uh, and Atlas Great in the description yeah. if anyone wants to check it out. And we usually get both. Mm -hmm. And this Atlas Great. That's it for today's video. That's it for today's video. Bye.